Hudson. We finished analyzing that mainframe that Mason Woods brought from Yamatau. And? Perseus was looking for the names of sleeper agents Dragovich used in 68. Give us those names. We'll get Adler's team to track them down. Perseus erased them. Fuck me. There's only one place you're gonna find that information now. The Lubyanka building. What? KGB headquarters? Why didn't Perseus get them there himself? I don't know. Maybe he's operating without authorization. I'll let Adler know. But we're gonna do this the right way. We're not gonna do it at all. Just got word. Belikov is back in Moscow. You guys know the plan. Bell, you with me. Lazar, be ready for Exville. Are you taking them into the KGB with you? Are you crazy? Wait for Mason or Woods to return. I don't need Mason or Woods. I need Bell. They've got the skill we need. Are you enjoying this? You're risking the entire operation unnecessarily. It's not unnecessary. It's calculated. Just understand that if you botch this, we can't get those names. It's over. I know you can do this. Hudson doesn't trust anyone he can't control. mean anything to you? Uh, sounds familiar. There's intel crisscrossing ARPANET that her body washed up along the Padillos River in Cyprus. Oh, that's so. And her head, two kilometers downstream. Reports estimate her death around August of last year. Of all places, you were on assignment in Cyprus this past summer. Coincidence, wouldn't you say? Our line of work is full of coincidences. <laughs> MI6 was keen on finding her. A rogue double agent gone dark for several years. I suppose she must have exposed herself somehow to the CIA. Leave behind a trail of heads, bound to get attention. I worked with Madame Michelle for three years, closely. I trusted her. But the moment I began to suspect something, she knew. I was able to fight her off, but... She left me with this parting gift. Oof. That's a dirty gun. Right. So imagine my surprise when I read these reports. Madame Shell. Body washed up on one bank. Head on the other. Ironic, wouldn't you say? <clears throat> I'd call it poetic justice. Lazar. Thank you. For what?
Have you come to convince me that you should be headlining this operation? Oh, is that right? Well, at least you're not hiding behind Adler. I'll grant you that. Now what is it? That's on a need-to-know basis. From where I'm standing, there's no reason in hell you need to know that. You're to make contact with him and follow Adler's lead. Negative. Digging into the KGB's most classified database would blow his cover and burn years of posturing. He'll get you in, but he won't go near that list of names. We can't take the time to fabricate them. Belikov will get you uniforms, and from there you'll need to improvise. Strategically speaking, this board is on insanity, which is precisely the type of work we rely on Adler for. Either as Adler's most trusted ally, or as cannon fodder. An excellent proposition. Nope. Time to break out your Russian, Bell. Well, she's... <laughs> you know what this dude thinks about Park. She's a true professional. I don't trust anyone at first, but after Berlin, I realize she's the real deal. Park's one of the guys to me. <laughs> one of the guys my ass. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hell no. KGB headquarters? Just between you and me. And me. And Sims. I hope I never get closer than pulling up in a car and picking you up. This has every chance of going tits down. Up, man. Tits up. Up, down. What's the difference? Yep. It's a long way to Moscow. Don't touch my legs. I didn't expect to see you back here. Less is more. Less talking, less interaction, less commotion. Blend in. It's the last place they'll expect an intrusion, so you'll have that to your advantage. Pretty much everything else is at your disadvantage. Coordinating infill and exfill. We've had to move mountains to fashion an untraceable route to Lubyanka Square. I'll make sure that goes off without a hitch. Getting you out, however, is another headache entirely. I've requested updated aerial reconnaissance to aid in planning your escape route. I don't want to run into any unknowns. Our path out of the Soviet Union will be anything but conventional. Hudson has his biases. There are people he'll never trust, and certain people he trusts impeccably. It just so happens you fall into the former category. I wouldn't dwell on it. Hudson was leery about commingling with other intelligence agencies, but after President Reagan greenlit Adler's operation, he fell in line like a good little American patriot. Remember when I warned you about inquiring into Adler's past? Some of that was likely projection. We're not always proud of our scars. I believe there are better ways to embellish one's character. But in our line of work, it's often more important to diminish the impression we leave on people. I'll be here if you need me. Stay safe out there.
what's on your mind. This isn't the first government agency I've broken into. The best are virtually impenetrable. But there's always a weakness. In this case, the weakness is the KGB placing too much trust in one of their own. If there was ever an operation suited to your skill set, it's this one. I handle the talking. You get us the names. Why do you ask? Mm-hmm. I don't. He's not one of mine. If I couldn't put my life in the hands of vetted strangers, I'd be in a different line of work. No. MI6 focuses mainly on the perimeter. Agents and client states. Smaller figures within the USSR. They go from the outside in. Belikov is one of ours. Supposedly. I'm trusting Hudson here. The man can be a pain in the ass, but he's no fool. Scar? You mean this? Is it noticeable? I jumped off a roof in Calcutta back in 75 while chasing a Soviet agent. The jump was successful. The landing, not so much. Advice? Always make sure you know where the utility poles are. Okay. 